What's up everybody? Welcome to my third tutorial in how to build a computer. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a very important part of your computer, and that is the motherboard. Now, if you don't know what the motherboard is, it's pretty much the main circuit board where all of your parts fit into. Since uh, they wanted to make a computer where you only had to plug in your parts to one thing, and this is the one thing they have to make sure that your parts fit into and they are compatible with. And uh, remember last time we picked out our CPU and for that we needed to make sure it was the right socket and also the right type of CPU. So again you may have a socket that your CPU can fit into but again if you have a, a Celeron a CPU and this only supports Pentium CPUs then uh, it won't work. So you have to make sure you have the right socket like uh, it fits into and after it fits into you have to make sure it has the right type and uh, there are a lot of other buying considerations when picking a motherboard uh, one of the main things people look for is this little thing right here it's called the front side bus and what it is its main job is to connect the CPU to the RAM and send information back and forth so therefore you want a fast as front side bus as you can. Um, the speed is measured in megahertz and the faster your front side bus is, uh, the faster your computer is going to be and also the more expensive your motherboard is going to be, but it's worth it. It's uh, one of the main things you have to look for, again, the speed of the front side bus. And another thing that people look for when buying a motherboard is the brand name. Now I don't want to go ahead and tell you guys what brand names are good and what's bad because I don't want to sound like I'm advertising anything but make sure you get a good brand name and uh, you don't get bottom of the line cheapo motherboard brand. And again